Good morning, you guys. Um, welcome to another video. Today, I am taking my car into the panel beaters to get the dent that is in my back door sorted out and removed and fixed and whatever else happens there. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do without Betty, hey? She's going to be gone for like, they said they're going to have to keep her for about three days. So, for the next three days, I will be without my favorite person. Well, car. It's a car, but still, you know. There she is. He just run the thing. Yeah. Do you have kids there? Or your oh, kids here? Yeah. I, I have them here. Okay, that's nice. No, if you keep these kids, you can end up getting an attachment. Yeah, exactly. You end up getting another family. <laughs> you end up getting another family. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Have a good day. Okay, bye. I just got home. Oh, well, I'm walking to the house. I just got home from dropping my car off. I had to take an Uber home, and my driver was so friendly. He's from Zimbabwe, and we were talking about like Zimbabwe and how um, they're allowed to have like three wives or something like that. Like. And he was just going on, he's, he's so chatty, but he's also so nice, and he's actually really interesting. It was a fun ride. Um, I just got home now. I was, I wanted to go to the gym, but I'm not sure if I will because it's really, really cold, but I know that I should do something, so I probably will end up forcing myself to at some point. I just want to like edit a vlog quickly, and then I'll probably, then I'll probably, um, go to gym around lunchtime or something so regardless of how freezing cold it is I am adapting to life without a car <laughs> and I decided to walk to the gym today luckily there's a store right next to the gym so I picked up some things for dinner and now I am on my way home I'm guys it is so cold this wind is so cold, like the sun is out in its full effect, but it is freezing because of this wind. Like, I can't feel my toes. I can't feel my toes. Today is day two without my car, and I am heading out right now. My goodness, it is freezing. I am heading out the door to go to gym again, because um, I booked a class. This is just a way for me to like get out of the house. Um, and just be productive. I literally even put my scarf on today because yesterday I like froze to death on my way <laughs> to the gym and Then when I come back, I'm gonna like have breakfast shower and um, I'm probably gonna film I'm probably gonna just batch film a whole bunch of sit-down videos because what else am I gonna do? You know, so I might as well because I've got the time I might as well do it so that I don't have to worry about like my uploads for like the next like <laughs> few weeks Ladies, how much do we hate being catcalled? I can't stand it. This random guy is like driving past and he's like, hello my sweetie. And I'm like, I'm not your sweetie. And then he's like, why are you acting like you're too good for me? You can't, you can't acknowledge me or whatever. So then I just kept ignoring him. Like it's so annoying. I'm just trying to get home. Leave me alone. I'm not out here looking for an argument that I didn't even ask for. And he's back. <laughs> that was literally him. That's the third time. He's driven past me. He literally, the third time he's driven past me and he keeps hooting or trying to say something every time he passes me. This is ridiculous. But anyway, so I just came, I just left the gym now. It was cool. Um, our trainer kind of forgot us. So there was this like, class set to start at 10 and there was just like no trainer. And like we all booked it last night. It was me and these two other ladies. And so we're all sitting there like waiting, like warmed up and everything, like no one shows up. So we like let the people at reception know that like, you know, we don't have a trainer, like we're kind of left hanging. 
And then we found out that the trainer was busy with people from head office, which is fine, but we still felt as though they should have let us know or they should have just scheduled another trainer or something. So we started doing our own workout, the three of us, and then like two minutes into it, a new trainer came and took over the class for us. Like, I get it, it was only three of us, but still, you know, like, if you schedule that there's going to be a class, then there should be a class. So I'm sitting here filming, well, I was filming, and then I tried to film a second video and the neighbor's dogs, just like all of them just decided to start barking. So now I'm like sitting here just waiting for them to stop. And every time I think they're going to be quiet, I like go to press the camera and they just start all over again. So now I'm just like sitting here like bored because I'm just waiting for some silence so that I can, so that I can um, film. Also, look at my filming outfit. Firstly, I have a blanket. I'm literally wearing sweatpants. Not only that, I've got my bunny slippers on. Yeah, what? That's how I film. I literally, from the waist down, like, just, it's not, in no. No. Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday, day three without my car. When Keegan left for work, I felt fine, but then I went back to bed for like another hour. And when I got up again, I was just feeling so sick. My stomach is really, really sore. It's not sore in the sense that I need to go to the toilet, but it's just, it's like, it's like tight and it's like sore. I don't really know why. Okay, once again, we are ready to battle the great outdoors <laughs> and go outside. <laughs> Today, I am still feeling a little bit sick. I My stomach is still a bit sore, um, but I have made it a point to leave the house every day, even without my car. So I am going to walk to the gym and I'm probably going to try to just do like 15, 20 minutes just walking on the treadmill. I don't even want to try to like do sprints or do weights or anything hectic like that. I'm just going to try to do like maybe i can even push it to like a half an hour walk on the treadmill which is fine it's still me moving at the end of the day it's still me moving which was my main priority I got a call from the panel beater this morning that oopsie that so i got a call from the panel beater this morning that the car will probably be ready around like two or three o'clock this afternoon and that's great but i feel like it's a little bit late in the afternoon and i don't really want to like do anything or go anywhere at that time so i'm probably gonna just wait until tomorrow morning to go and fetch the car instead i'm going to pick up my car today the driver's already here so i'm kind of late so i just need to get out the gate and i'll be on my merry way i'm so excited Hey guys, I am back in my car. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. They did very, very well. Um, the, 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 you can't even tell that there was ever a dent in my door. So I'm very happy about that. Like seriously, I am so happy about that because it's, I don't know. I'm just the type of like, my car is like my one thing that I can take care of and stuff and seeing that big dent every day when I'm like getting in the car and stuff was really really disturbing me and also it was just a reminder of like a really bad day and I don't and I don't want to have to have that reminder every time I walk up to my car to go somewhere um, I want to be proud of my car, I want it to look nice all the time, you know, it is an old car, but nonetheless, you can still make an old car look nice and presentable, you know, and neat and clean and without any dents, so yeah, it was also my way of kind of just like moving forward and um, away from the bad experience that I had. I am on my way back home now, the cleaning lady is there, so I need to pick up some food for her and then i'm going to probably i don't know like i really don't know what i'm gonna do like i was so excited to get my car back but it's not that i need to do anything i'm just happy to have it back 